Tire Power Storewide Super Sale gives you the power to save on a huge range of Kumo tyres. You can buy three and get one free on selected Kumo passenger car and SUV tyres. Tire Power Storewide Super Sale is now on. Visit tyrepower.com.au or call 132191. Oh, it's, this is the stuff that we got her. So the test wicket for Alana King arrives. She's pinned front back in the over and a half. She's bowled at her. The finger's gone up. What a few weeks this young lady has had. Alana King made her Aussie T20 debut on January 20, her Test match debut a week later, and her ODI debut a week after that, and all of it coming in a little series called The Ashes. And I tell you, she hasn't wasted any time making herself at home either. Alana, good morning and welcome to SEN. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Well, firstly, congratulations uh, from us. And Ashes win outright secured yesterday down here at the Junction Oval. Now, life must be pretty good at the moment. Oh, absolutely. I think everyone's um, pretty happy with the way we went about it and we just didn't want to retain the ashes and uh, we definitely wanted to win it. So we're pretty happy with our performance yesterday. And personally, is the head stop spinning? I mean, I mentioned the fact that you've come into the team, you've, you've been taking wickets, you're making debuts every five minutes. It must be a pretty crazy time for you personally. Well, this last month has been the craziest month I've ever experienced, but it's been a whole lot of fun. Um, with this group and I've just loved every minute of it. Um, I don't think the smile is going anywhere anytime soon and it hasn't gone hasn't gone anywhere and it hasn't left my face. So um, I'm a pretty happy person um, in this amazing group. And you like to bowl in the shades. Is that, uh, is that <laughs> in honour of anyone or is it just a personal preference? <laughs> no. no, no. I've been bowling in shades from when I can remember. Started playing cricket. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was a pretty cool thing to do and um, I stuck with it. So, um, yeah, sometimes I'm wearing some extravagant shades and some some people are saying it's questionable, but um, <laughs> I'll, I'll still own it and exactly. that's, that's just me, pretty yeah, honest. Like it. Hey, if it's working, if it ain't broke, don't fix mm. it. So before, let's go back to go forward, Alana. I was um, listening um, when you're, uh, I guess, giving your cap by uh, legend Shelley Nitschke before game one at the Adelaide Oval, your journey. You were at the Oakley Cricket Club, I think, one day with your, your brother who was playing rep cricket. You might have been rolling the arm over and you got spotted there. Yeah, it was at my brother's, yeah, as you said, my brother's rep game. And um, I used to go watch him during the holidays because I just loved it. Um, and I loved doing whatever my brother did. Um, so I was just mucking around with him and his teammates. Um, and I was just batting and bowling and the coach was like, hang on, um, you can actually play. Like, you need to come down. And I was that excited, like a kid in a candy shop and um, kept, like, hounding in on dad, dad and mum to take me down. And, yeah, I uh, haven't, haven't looked back since. And was it Belinda Clark that then poached you off the, not long after that? Is that right? She knows a thing or two about yep. the craft. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think BC um, knows a little bit about cricket, but... Yeah, she she found out that I was playing with the boys and then uh, heard about that and got me over to, to the Dandenong Women's Cricket Club and started playing my senior cricket over in Dandenong. How have, how have you found the uh, the format with the multi-format, you know, mixing and matching which type of cricket you're going to be playing? Some of you have spoken to some of your teammates in the past week or so and, you know, certainly say that they can adjust pretty well to it but just would prefer there to be uh, more than the one test match. Yeah, of course. I think um, as as we don't play a lot of test matches, I don't think um, a lot of things changed in, in the lead up to the test match. I think everyone still wanted to, to play positive cricket and be attacking. Um, obviously, you've got a hell of a lot of more time in the middle, whether it's bat or ball. So um, I didn't change a lot or my approach to when I played in a test match to how I played a T20 or, or a one day. I think, uh, I think my bowling's uh, quite adaptable to, to either format. Um, all three formats, I should say. And, yeah, I'm just, look, I'm just having a lot of fun doing it and I'm pretty pretty blessed to be in the position I am. Just want to talk about your bowling. You say, you know, you feel like it's pretty straightforward for you, but do you bowl, you know, ODIs and, and T20, you might bowl a little bit more of a defensive line and length so that you go for less runs, whereas in a test match, I presume you probably bowl with a little bit more aggression seeking a wicket. It, if that is the case, is it difficult to be able to just chop and change the way that you bowl? Uh, not not necessarily. I think my game plan um, is just attacking the stumps and whether that's in the shorter format or in the longer format, I think that's my biggest weapon. Uh, I don't give up the stumps all that often. So uh, maybe a slight variation in speed um, comes into play, whether it's in a T20 or in a, in a test match. I might tend to be a bit slower 
in a test match, um, try to draw the, the batter out and really build on them. Uh, whereas T20, maybe a little bit quicker and a bit flatter through the air. Um, so it hurries the, bat, the batter up, I guess. Because um, you obviously only have 24 balls to, to bowl and you want to be making the most of those. Alana, why spin? What initially, just going back, attracted you to, to the art of, of spin bowling? Again, like my my brother bowled a bit of leg spin um, right. when he was younger before he took over the, the gloves. And also you can't go past um, the great king, SK Warren, on mm-hmm. on your TV every summer and taking <laughs> polls for fun. So he was a big, big part of why I'm, I'm bowling leg spin. Yeah, well, I was watching his documentary on Amazon last night, actually. That's why I ask you, because he spends a fair bit of time talking about where his relationship with the art of spin bowling started. So it's... It's quite, it's quite interesting. And and having your parents there for that uh, cap presentation at the Adelaide Oval, Leroy and Sharon, I mean, your journey, you wanted this so much. You were prepared. Family, you're really tight. You moved all the way over to Perth in mid-2020. So you haven't seen a lot of your family since heading off to chase your dream, have you? No. Well, um, since well, Adelaide was the first time I've seen them in, in almost a year. Um, yeah, so it's been, it's been pretty odd and different. But obviously with a hard border in WA, it was pretty hard to get back back across to Melbourne to see everyone um, and stuff like that. I've missed a few uh, important things, like occasions, I guess, um, in, in our family and friends' lives. But um, it was just such a special moment to see them and for them to be there at every debut. I think that's that's something pretty special. And, yeah, I, think I, was, I was very happy that they were there for, for every hat presentation. Have you got any, any line of sight on the next potential opportunity to get back there is? We spoke to some of the... Frio Dockers, AFLW players, and they were hopeful of being back. Um, so have you got any line of sight on what that may look like for you? Oh, no idea, to be honest. I think uh, first and foremost, we'll, we'll get through the last game of the Ashes and then head over to New Zealand for the World Cup. And um, yeah, I, I won't look too far ahead because we, as, as we know, things can change pretty quickly in these uh, circumstances. So um, we'll just wait and see, and hopefully the borders are open by the time I get back. And, but if not, and did we see the yeah. did we see the catch of the summer by Meg Lanning oh. on the weekend? Has uh, she oh shut my... up about that, Alana? Yeah, she'd be pretty happy with it. <laughs> I think um, everyone was more disappointed with the way she she celebrated and her throw <laughs> that went only backwards. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, we've told Meg that she needs to improve on her release off the ball when she takes a screamer but wowee that was one of the best catches I've seen and I, I had pretty good vision um, down at third man um, it was just phenomenal and but those either stick or they don't and oh, it was just phenomenal to see Meg just take an absolute screamer that was an absolute belter to her right. Uh, unbelievable. If you haven't seen it, jump on uh, onto Twitter or YouTube and have a look at that. So you got your final, uh, third and final ODI, last match of the series, haven't you, Alana, on uh, tomorrow. And then next month, the big one, uh, ODI World Cup in New Zealand. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to, to obviously getting this series um, done and dusted and hopefully we don't let the foot off the throat um, tomorrow. So we'll be going out and, and trying to win all three ODIs and, and really going into the World Cup with some uh, serious momentum. Well, so great to hear from you, Alana. It's been a great story. I've enjoyed following you from afar over the, the summer. Well done on all you achieved uh, so far. and It really does whet the appetite for what's to come for you. Uh, best of luck with it going forward. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Aussie leg spinner Alana King there, who's made a real impression Mm. uh, in all formats since uh, getting her debut in all formats over the course of the last uh, few weeks. She was here for MEGT, transitioning from school to the workforce. You can open your innings with MEGT and earn money while you earn or learn new skills.